We're BHS Pep and Cheer, and you're watching CBS 47. Welcome back in Oakhurst tonight. 3-0 Yosemite hosting 1-0 Mariposa. The Badgers working it on both sides of the ball. Stephen Baker, right place, right time. He comes down with the interception. More Badgers defense. Tons of pressure here on the Grizzlies' Wyatt Green. Eventually, he's sacked. But I told you Yosemite had its offense working. Here's proof. Nicholas Harper beats everyone to the outside, then turns on the Jets. He's gone for a long touchdown. Yosemite wins 30 to nothing. Aerial shot from high above Liberty High Madero Ranchos tonight. The Hawks hosting Kennedy out of Delano. The Thunderbirds undefeated this season. Here's one reason why. Francisco Medina fakes out everyone, puts together a nice run to get down to the 10 yard line. Now inside the five, Medina gets the glory. He's in for the touchdown. Kennedy improves the 4-0 with a 37-14 win. All right, one of the things we like doing on Friday nights is introducing you to an outstanding high school athlete who's making headlines around the valley. We call it our high school hotshot. And this week, we're going to introduce you to Golden West to tell you about Angel Celaya. First off, she's a she, but she doesn't want to be seen as a female football player. Instead, she wants to be viewed as a football player who just happens to be a female. Secondly, nothing was ever given to Angel. She's hard. She's had to work twice as hard to be on the team. And oh, yeah, she made history this season, becoming the first female to score a touchdown on varsity in central section history. The kids don't hold back. I mean, that's one thing she wants. She wants to be treated like everybody else and hit and knocked down, and we do that. She gets hit and she gets knocked down and she gets right back up and plays the next play. My goal is not to let my team down, to give them my best, show up every day, on time, be there for them on and off the field, and always let them know that even though I won't ever get as much playing time as they do, I'm always going to be there for them, and I'm proud of every single one of them. So we're going to have Angel's full feature this Sunday night on CBS 47 at 11 o'clock, so definitely tune in for that. And if you're wondering about her parents, both mom and dad are on board with that, and i got to love that. So just a reminder, if you missed tonight's highlights or just want to see them again, the place to go is yourcentralvalley.com. You'll also be able to find us on the CBS 47 Facebook page. Pretty awesome. Yes, that is a great story. I am immediately looking forward to what you're, put, to what you're going to be putting together on Sunday. Um, Want to let you know, important score tonight. Hanford beat Porterville 35-14 after being down 7-0 at the half. The Bullpups 4-0 this season. I don't know when that matchup with Tulare Western is, but Hanford Tulare Western, I believe it's later this month. That should be a really good one. And, you know, Angel, of course, making history for scoring a touchdown. I believe the first female to score points in the central section was a kicker for Hoover High. I ran into Pat Plummer tonight at the Clovis game. <laughs> nice. He's still all over the valley, even though he's not coaching anymore. He had somebody in the 1980s, and I believe that her equipment is in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Yeah, no, but she's a linebacker, fullback. She's getting hit. She's making hits. I love that. All right, so that's it for us. Uh, have a good night, guys. <laughs>